Hello, this is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 12 of this Let's Play Heart of Iron 4 multiplayer. I'm joined here by Valnoma. Hello. Playing as? The Dominion of India. Aizel. Hello. Playing as? Uh, Germany. Also known as half of Europe. And Bussy. Hello. Playing as? The Union of Britain. Marvellous. And I am the United States of America. If Bussy's the Union of Britain, can I be the Union of Europe? <laughs> no, but you can be the European Union. Uh, it's too democratic. No, it's not. It's not democratic enough. <laughs> Democracy will be introduced. Or else. Through force of arms. <laughs> God forbid people actually vote. <laughs> Airplanes, because it's no longer 1936. What? Why didn't anyone tell me this? Have you missed five birthdays? <laughs> Possibly. So if I didn't send you your birthday cards, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> but don't mind. I mean, don't worry, uh, we'll be sending a gift of freedom in the mail soon. The Entente Air Training Scheme. Sounds fun. Yes, I can either reject it and gain 100 political power, or I can get a bonus to uh, air stuff. Air stuff, yes, fair enough. I'm rejecting it and getting the 100 political power. That... That is uh, very clear to me <laughs> that that needs to be done. Just to clarify on um, puppets. Yes. If the subject is exporting to the overlord, then they become more integrated? If the subject yeah. is... Yeah. Or no, less. they become more autonomous. Yeah. They become more autonomous if they export to me. Yes. It's a bad mm -hmm. thing if you're taking their resources, because the rate of return for them is terrible. That's true. Okay, I don't need to worry too much. I'm only taking all of their oil. That's one of the things I dislike about the puppet system, is it is freaking expensive. Yeah, I haven't figured out the puppet system at all. Yeah, I, I like it. I haven't had a chance to play with the um, Death of Dishonor puppet system. Oh, speaking of which, we are not playing Death and Dishonor because I don't think Kaiser Reich has been updated yet. Because I know that's now out. No! French Republic! Give me guns, please! I need your guns! No more guns for you. <laughs> French Republic, justify war goal. <laughs> I can actually do that. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, can. Oh, God damn it! American troops, get out of here. Hi. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> You're like freaking funny. wizards. You're popping up all over the place. <laughs> You've got wizard troops. That's what democracy can do for you. And into magic users. Well, I'm, I'm democratic and I don't have wizards. <laughs> it's because you're not democratic enough. How, how does one get wizard democracy? By submitting to uh, American Imperial... I mean, uh, freedom. <laughs> or reading Harry Potter. Switzerland is annoying. <laughs> Why, exactly? Uh, it's in the way. <laughs> and it's a red blob. Borgor. You read my comment saying I should have played as Switzerland. <laughs> I did, yes. <laughs> yeah. Was, Reconstruction course, has finally ended. The Civil War. Now. The Civil War can finally be put to rest. Though the scars of the Civil War still haunt America, at least we can now focus on the future. And that's getting rid of all of the negatives that recovering from the Civil War was giving me. Get ready for more, better, and improved America. Hoorah. Hurrah indeed. And also huzzah. How many um how many armies do you have? Not as many as you may think, 
but that doesn't mean I don't have the potential for it. 150. <laughs> Uh-oh, World War One's happening again. Good for I, Germany. I was looking at that thinking, do I want to get involved because I can see what they're doing? So I could spend loads of political power and get loads of what are now really pointless focuses. It's land forts on the French border. That would be up to you. Or I'd just get 3% more recruitable population. Do I have any of these? No. Good. Excellent. The Marines are ready for service. Huzzah. Oh! Oh! Farxia you capitulated! Hold on. Well done. <laughs> I don't know why. How? I don't know. I was, like, equal with them, but I guess they just lost too many people and gave up. So that's just meant the Entente's just got a bunch stronger. Yeah, because we have a united India. It also meant that all eight of my divisions return home with all of their experience too. That's fine. Yes. All 197 of my divisions returned home with experience. <laughs> <laughs> Cool stuff. Lots of equipment. Oh yeah, got all your equipment, Mordred. Mmm, thanks for that. You're welcome. You better be using those against Germany now. <laughs> Look how strong Germany is, it's ridiculous. Germany is not strong. Germany is oh, stupidly yes. strong. I, I may have intended that in the first place now, but like... You've, uh... <laughs> you've done some stuff against me, Mordred. What, take the Pacific States and also supported your enemies? I've done nothing. Oh, well, I'm, I'm role-playing, so I don't care about the Pacific States, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, you've, uh... You've supported my enemies. Um, still not getting many... Oh, those are... Ah! Yeah, I would like some of those. Finally at peace. And sadly, Burma got released as a puppet of the French. Most unfortunate. Aizhul is lagging behind. Have we lost Aizhul? I'm here. Hello. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I'm trying to draw orders and nothing's happening. Okay, I'll pause it just to see if you catch up. Uh, it says you have. I'm on the 15th of September. Oh, we're on the 16th. Oh yeah, so you are. 4am on the 15th, and you are not catching up. Oh dear. Serbia capitulated. That's probably what's caused the lag. No, you're now two days behind. We'll yeah, give you a I'm, minute. I'm stuck. Unify India. Well, I tried to uh, prevent that, guys. You can't say I didn't. And I've caught up. Huzzah. And now I have lots of orders. <laughs> so many orders. I have all the orders. Austria took 29 states, Romania, Serbia, Greece, and Bulgaria, and 500,000 equipment. You thought you got a lot. Yeah. And they're spitting out the puppets. Yeah, the Austrians love their puppets. Apparently they do. Yeah, you know what, Merka? No more steel from you. It's all coming from Germany now. 
Oh, and my volunteers just returned home. I've been doing all of this to try and reduce the strength of Germany. Yep. And, uh, hey, Aizul, you may want to stop giving me convoys, because you've been giving me ten convoys a month since, like, the start of the game. <laughs> I have 900. Yeah, I have, like, 600. So if you want to continue giving me those, sure. But, uh, <laughs> now that my crisis is over, I will now notify you that, of the, the convoys that you are giving me. Where am I even giving you convoys? Uh, lend -lease. I don't have a lend -lease with the Dominion of India. Oh, okay, I guess it ended with the war then. Yeah, you're now at peace. Oh, that's upsetting, because, like, I'm no longer getting guns from the French Republic. Nope. Or Canada, or any of them. Oh, that's bad for you, Mordred. You should have attacked Canada while you could. Now all their troops are coming home. Yeah, that's fine. Or maybe all of their troops are going to gather in, like, Brittany and try to invade the uh, Union of Britain. That's more likely. Yeah, because yeah. I, I don't see any French troops. The word try is really important. <laughs> are, like, all the French troops just coming home from India? Yes, they are. <laughs> Going right up through the, uh, the Suez Canal. It's hundreds of Entente divisions going up through there. It would certainly be an inconvenient time to declare war on them. Oh, like your navy could just totally shred them. Oh, it could as well. Yeah, you're trying huge. to encourage. Yeah, are you trying to get your Entente friends killed here? <laughs> I mean, with how much they helped me... <laughs> It's better for them. <laughs> it can be arranged. Be careful what you wish for. Like, I'm not getting involved in their war against the Union of Britain. That's their war. India does not care. <laughs> Clearly it does. So I wonder what the Union of Britain's going to do about all of this. Fight. We will never surrender. Oh wait, that's the wrong guy. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm most curious about what uh, Germany is going to try and do next. So no, Germany, what are you going to do next? Training his mounties. Ah, okay. Then we will see. What do you think I should do next? I honestly don't know. Well, uh, Mordred is, of course, just going to wait for any uh, war to pop up in the world, and uh, then he's going to send volunteers to whoever we're fighting. Well, I was tempted to uh, send volunteers for the Union of Britain to fight against the Entente, but I kind of like the way that status quo is right now, so I'm not going to. Neither side's going to gain anything out of that one for a long time.
famous last words. Hmm. Alright, this one I think is one that we definitely do need to get involved with. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, no, you don't. Well, you just stabbed your buddies in the back. No, I didn't. Yeah, the, like they they were there to support you if you uh, if you started losing. Yeah, they were there for you, man. Liberal. Why would you do this to your allies? It's market liberal. <laughs> if you get if you get pushed back, they get called in, like in the uh, in the second belt Creek. Second belt Creek is finished already. Yeah, but they they were willing to help you if you needed them. America is ribbon. What does that actually do for me? Remove national spirit recovering from the American Civil War. So yeah, my economy is now roaring ahead. The world will Just come to a second. fear. The world will come to fear the Indian Navy. <laughs> <laughs> the mighty three ships that will destroy the world. <laughs> three whole ships. I am yeah. quivering. Three entire ships. Bet you're so jealous. Hmm. Ready to move. Germany, you seem to be an unreliable trade partner. I'm not getting anything delivered. Ask nicely. <laughs> Les. Les, can I have steel? No more steel for you. Hey, Dominion of India. Like, I'm going to put bygones, let bygones be bygones, and buy your chromium. Okay, then. Then uh, I will go back to purchasing your steel. Huzzah. So I'm not getting any German steel for some reason. There we go. I'm getting the American steel. Ready, sir. Oh, you're on the outskirts of Vienna already. Blow me. They're moving too fast. I can't keep the orders up. <laughs> Victory of the Dominion. Yes. Bloody hell. I knew that. Austria had a poor national unity, but that's just ridiculous. Yep. I think my troops are about a week away. <laughs> Ho hum. 
Sorry, I do it all states at a time, but I don't have enough score. That's fine. Now that's my equipment. <clears throat> And you're at war with Romania there. Kingdom of Illyria. Oh yes, I'm still at war. One second, I'm going to have to completely redraw my lines. If you guys need to sort out your nations, now's a good time. This will take me a little while. Yeah, I need to sort out my nation. All right, in that case, shall we uh, end this episode here and then do this off camera? So I'm going to say thank you very much yep. for watching. If you're enjoying this so far, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do check the uh, subscribe as well for me and or Valonuma. If you want to support the channel in other ways, check out the Patreon, a link for which you can find in the description below. That's a goodbye from Bussy Valnoma and the Conqueror, Igel. Goodbye. Goodbye. And from me, we'll catch you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>